in Catazolo, and it's that time again. It's time for my talk. And today we are going to talk about students and their feelings in this time of COVID. Well, there are no manuals for them to follow in this cataclysmic time in which we all live. Students are consistently forced to operate in context of uncertainty. Embarking on an elusive search for clarity are both students and those who govern them. This is a daily reality for them. And this quest, the quest for the path forward, turns up little more than wisps of hope. It seems that the ancient landmarks have been revealed. The young, who are always so sure of themselves, falter and stumble in the light of their days, as is the fate of the blind. With blurred lenses, they gaze into the future ahead of them and they, saw, and they see things that are grim. For some, negativity and pessimism replace that bundle of joy and exuberance that comes with youthfulness. Graduation rates are delayed as students are ensconced in a battle for playing catch up. We need, our students need to look with new lenses from new perspectives. But how can we do it? They have to. Years ago, I remember that generation of South Africans in South Africa. Students took to the streets to protest the evil system of apartheid. During that time, education for most of them, for many of them was compromised. Later, or perhaps at the same time in the Sudan, civil war led to kids running from their homes, fleeing from their homes, seeking safety and, and shelter and food. They could not focus on education. Consequently, the potentially very bright ones were undereducated or uneducated. Our kids do not face such protests or war, civil war. But indeed, all the kids of the world are now inflict, afflicted by the virus of COVID 19. A secret war has been waged against the students of the world. College students, brilliant minds have been locked down, locked into place, stone walled by a war that they cannot see. No protests here, just protocols to keep them safe from an unseen foe. Forced to huddle in place for safety, they wait for winds of change that seem to be long in coming. But there is always hope. The hope that launched the Mayflower. The hope that built this nation. The hope that brought millions of immigrants here. The hope that caused blacks to stand despite the atrocities that were meted out to them against eras and into times. And they're still standing tall. We need to change your perspective. Students, you need to change your perspective to get some hope. And yes, you can. We need to manage our thought lives. We need, we and our students need to lay a hold of hope. We need to keep hope alive. Don't let hope die. Carefully choreograph your thought patterns so that hope is put into it, so that hope is inserted into it. In the interstices 
between thought and decision making and between decision making and action insert hope consistently insert hope fight you must fight to hold on to hope you may struggle but the victory is in the struggle so to all students and others who are struggling during this time of covid with feelings of not being enough with feelings of insecurity with feelings of almost failure i dedicate this poem mother to son by langston hughes to you well son i tell you life for me ain't been no crystal stair it's had tax in it and the splinters and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the ground bare but all the time I've been a climbing on and reaching landings and turning corners and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't been no light. So boy, don't you turn back. Don't you sit down on those steps cause it's fine, it's kind of hard. Don't you fall now. For I still going honey. I still climbing. A life for me. Ain't been no crystal steel. In addition, I would like to say a prayer on behalf of all the students, all our students, or children, or heritage, the future for all of us. Father, I know you hear us when we pray. Let all the students and many others find meaning for their lives in this time and peace in this time of turbulence. Let them find stability in a world that seems to be, have been turned upside down. Where wrong seems to be right and right seems to be wrong. Help us to find a way to an elevated perspective and ultimately find our way to you where you belong because you our stability you are hope you will empower our youth with hope and confidence in the future i'm indy risolo and this has been my talk it's been a silent talk but my heart goes out to you don't forget to like subscribe and leave your comments for me let me know what you are thinking about see you next time and it's my talk bye for now